The London Fire Brigade declared a major incident earlier this afternoon. Britain, Greece, Spain, Italy, Portugal. Wildfires are raging across southern Europe. We've got nothing if it's, if it's gone, like, you know. Brutal heat waves are gripping both Europe and the United States and are forecast to dump searing heat on much of China into late August. The searing heat is part of a global pattern of rising temperatures, which scientists have widely attributed to human activity. So how exactly is climate change driving this extreme weather? Climate change makes heat waves hotter and more frequent. This has been confirmed by the UN's Global Panel of Climate Scientists. Greenhouse gas emissions from human activities have heated the planet by about 1.2 Celsius since pre-industrial times. Other conditions affect heat waves too, such as atmospheric circulation. But overall, the warmer baseline means hotter heat waves. EU Commissioner for Crisis Management, Yanez Lenarcic. The trends are unmistakable. While we may have here or there, uh, let's say, less bad year, the trends are unmistakable. We have an increased frequency and intensity of forest fires if we look over the average over the years. Scientists conduct the so-called attribution studies to find out exactly how much climate change affects a specific heat wave. Since 2004, more than 400 such studies have been done for extreme weather events. Scientists say temperatures will only cease rising if humans stop adding greenhouse gases to the atmosphere. A failure to tackle climate change would see heat extremes escalate even more dangerously. Climate change increases hot and dry conditions that help fires spread faster, burn longer and rage more intensely. In the Mediterranean, the fire season now starts earlier than it used to. Countries such as Portugal and Greece, which are used to fires most summers and have the relevant infrastructure, have needed emergency EU help this year. And hotter temperatures are also pushing wildfires into regions not used to them. Balash Ujvari is an EU Commission spokesperson. So as more and more uh, forest fires spring up across Europe, the Commission continues to work tirelessly to mobilise help to those in need. Now, in addition to the firefighting airplanes mobilised to Portugal, France and Albania last week, the Commission de deployed another plane from Croatia to Slovenia over the weekend to battle a fire in Nova Gorica. There are other factors outside of climate change that contribute to fires, such as forest management and ignition sources. In Europe, more than 9 out of 10 fires are ignited by human activities, like arson, disposable barbecues or littered glass. That's according to EU data. But scientists concur that without steep cuts to the greenhouse gases causing climate change, heatwaves and wildfires will significantly worsen. Pateri Talas is the Secretary General of the World Meteorological Organization. We have already uh, pumped uh, so much uh, carbon dioxide to the atmosphere that the negative trend uh, will continue for the coming, coming decades. And so far, we haven't been able to reduce our emissions uh, globally. I hope that these kind of events are going to be a wake-up call for, for, for many governments. <laughs>